I cannot believe this right now, but now my normal camera won't work and the up, the, this camera is working. What? What is my luck? I don't understand. I'm, I don't. They're both plugged in, I swear. I've tried to unplug and replug them. I have no idea. There's something conflicting with the software, I swear. I don't know what's going on, but this is just, this is so dumb. I'm sorry. I have no idea why this is happening. But here we are. We're gonna finish this tale, no matter how many times the stream crashes. I'm gonna have a fun time editing this together later so I can post it on YouTube. <laughs> okay, we have to glue these two together. So, glue, glue. I am going to say I don't think having the slits on here really help. Yes, I'm back, I made it! Lulu, now this camera is working and this one won't! What? I can't believe it! I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked and horrified. I don't know. <laughs> Why am I so unlucky? <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. That string of text right there. I don't know that putting little slits in this helps it to hold together better, but... Uh, I'm gonna say it's not really worth doing. I think, I think I wouldn't bother. Okay, okay, so this is glued together. <laughs> I'm just so shocked. So this is, uh... This is... <laughs> are the directions gonna go? Yeah, okay, the directions still work. Okay, let's read the directions together, guys, because I still don't understand. Okay, after the foam has been glued, we got that. Take your elastic, okay, and add it to the top edges of the opening. Okay, so that could be, that could be either here or here. So... I mean, what do they want from me? <laughs> okay. But here, on the image, it looks like it's both. Make sure to leave enough room for your belt to easily slide through. After you do this to both sides, take a piece of elastic and attach it to the top of the foam circle. Okay. And bring it down the sides of the two pieces. See, I've read it like 80 times. I'm just gonna assume that this is the image, this image is what I'm trying to follow. Okay, once the glue is cooled, place the foam core into the tail, making sure to leave uh, about a half an inch sticking out. Use the same circle you used to cut the foam. Cut a piece of fabric to cover the opening. Ladder stitch it closed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. I think this is a camera I wish I had earlier, and now I wish I had the other camera. <laughs> what even is my life? I'm, you know, I'm glad Lulu is here with me with this, for this, because nobody else would believe me that this happened. So I'm really glad that at least someone was here, and especially that it was Lulu. Lulu, you will, you will vouch for me, right? This happened. <laughs> nobody could be this luck unlucky, like. Oh, you finished! Oh, I want to see! Alright, so I'm going to just use some white elastic I have. Um, this is about... This is half an inch thick. I think what they're trying to make me do is put it like this to try to kind of hold it together. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see... Um, what you came up with, Lulu. I, I will look at it after I am done streaming. <laughs> unless, unless the internet decides I'm done. <laughs> okay. So. Cool. I have to glue 
My desk is dirty. I'm very uncomfortable when I'm in a dirty place. Like, uh, not dirty, but messy. Like, uh, if, if there's too much mess, it just makes me uncomfortable. I need things to be organized so I can tell what's going on. I feel like I just can't function properly. Like, I can't think clearly if there's a mess of some kind. Oh, great. I dropped that on the ground. Cool. So, I guess I have to... Uh, glue this like this, and I hope it will be good. I'm going to... I, I guess, I mean, this makes sense, so I hope I'm doing this right. But really, there really, truly needs to be an image on that, uh, more, I mean, there was an image. I think that's the only reason I'm getting this far, is because of that drawn image. But there needs to be, like, a photo of a finished product, or, yeah, like, that's, that's what I really want to see. I want to see a photo of a finished product. Like, that would be really helpful. It's four pages long, wow. Yeah, do that, if you could get it in the server. Everybody would probably love to see that. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep gluing. Gluing for days. I guess, okay, that makes sense, what they said, not to make it too thin, like too close together. But I feel like that's kind of obvious. Uh... Yeah, I mean... Ow. <laughs> it was hot! The hot glue was hot! Are you shocked? I'm shocked. I didn't expect that. You know what? I don't think I was supposed to put hot glue on this part right here. Okay. I think... I think I'm supposed to put hot glue on the top, on each side. Um... But not in this, not in this section, so that it can stretch easier. And I kind of just put glue there. Um, oops. That's fine. I guess we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, well, I did one side that way, so I need to, I, I need to do the other side that way. I mean, shoot, I guess I'll just rip the glue off. See, that's, that's the kind of details I would like to have. Ahead of time, actually. That that would be nice to know. Not so much uh, the early parts. Like, I know how to do a tail for the most part. Like, but it's just this part that's different from normal tails. This is the part that I had questions on. And this is the part that I think didn't have enough explanation to it. So, yes. <laughs> that's my critique of this pattern. I think, I think it needs a little bit more... Oh man, look, I just put glue in there again. Dang it, I'm stupid. I was just fixing that. Okay. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> Why do I make the same mistake as I'm complaining about the mistake I just made? All right. All right, cool, Lulu. I will look at it later when I can. I'm very excited to see what you came up with. It's probably very cool. Okay. We are almost done here with our weird little hockey puck. I mean, I see I see what they're going for here. This makes sense, but uh it would have just been nice to understand it first rather than after. Hmm. Anyways. I'm gonna cut off some of this extra elastic on the end. I don't think that's necessary. Cool. So I guess that's just a... Okay, so that kind of makes sense. Why you would have another thing of elastic going around on the top and bottom here. To hold it in place. Like, uh, we've got... These here, one, two, and then on three, four on the other side. So another piece of elastic going around on up here and here. So that makes sense. Um, but it looks like they just kind of put it like right here and here. I guess that makes sense. I mean, I guess you don't need to go all the way 
around the whole thing, but I feel like I feel like I'm just going to do that anyways. Just put it all the way around. Because this thing is so small, like if I just if I just tried to put this tiny piece like right here and on the other side right here, it's like almost a full circle. I might as well just make a full circle with elastic. That's that's my two cents. I think this would make more sense if I had my other camera. I really am angry that now this camera is working. I think I'm actually cursed. I have no idea why this is happening like this. Okay. Cool. So I have the piece of elastic here. I'm just going to put it all the way around. So that's good. I'm going to actually cut out the other, the second piece, because I want them to match top and bottom. Same length. <laughs> Google thinks you're interested in desert plants. Okay. I will, I will try it as soon as I can, and I will tell you if it works. I'll actually be surprised if it doesn't, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. Okay, so this is same length. There we go. Wow, these, these scissors are great. I just love these. These are my buff scissors, okay? Westcott brand. Uh, I guess they say carbo titanium on them. They're heavy duty. Like, they cut through anything. They're awesome. The best scissors you will ever need. Like, the only scissors you will ever need. Okay. So I'm going to glue this. <laughs> Shocker! I'm going to glue this. Cool. So I'm going to just glue it around the puck here. Um. So I guess the purpose of this one... I guess this one can be glued all the way around. It looks like this one can't. So in that case, I didn't have to rip the glue off of... Dang it! Okay. <sighs> cool. So, right here, I thought maybe I shouldn't have glue underneath these. These little suspender-looking things. Turns out it's fine, because it's gonna get covered anyways. <laughs> so, I guess I didn't have to take the glue off of that, but whatever. This is a learning process. Nobody built Rome in a day. I don't even know what's the saying? I don't even know the, I don't even know the saying. Uh, okay, this is fine. I can't imagine this is gonna work well. Like, okay, okay, I can imagine it can work well, but this build, it's just, it's fine. It's, it's gonna be on the inside. So it's going to be hidden, but it looks very strange. I'm just going to say it looks kind of kind of hilarious. Like a like a very It just doesn't look like a professional project is what I'm trying to say, but I can't argue with the results. It's probably just cuz it's my first time doing this. So I I'm not going to blame the pattern. It's probably just me not doing it in the most beautiful way. <laughs> yeah. But that is okay. It, it looks kind of funny. But we're going to see. We're going to see how this does. I can't imagine this would work for a bigger tail because the bigger tails would need a lot more durability than this. And this is... This is trying its hardest to be pretty durable, but for such a tiny tail, I can't imagine... I can't imagine how much strength you would need for a big tail. Okay, so we made this puck. So... It says... To insert it into the tail... I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> insert it into the tail opening here. And, uh, I might need to add more stuffing. Or less. We'll see. <coughs> I don't remember how low. I think they said, like, one inch lower. Wow, I really wish the other camera was up right now. How does this happen to me? Are you okay? Come on. Come on, fit. Fit in there. I measured. I know you fit. Go in there. Ugh. Okay. It was fighting me, but it's done now, because I won. Cool. 
So that looks pretty good. So it's, um, so this, whoa, why didn't I just do this sooner? I'm stupid. I forgot I can just tilt it up. Okay. Hi, this is much better. So we put the foam core in here. That's what I'm just going to call it. Um, let's see how low it says to put it. Now you guys get to see me up close. Um, leave about half an inch of fur. Okay. Cool. So they say, right? <laughs> right. See, it's all me. It's like I try to explain. I, I try to think that everything is like I'm just unlucky, like my cameras don't work and stuff. But then I forget that I can actually turn my camera. It's like partially the universe and partially me being stupid. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't explain it. Okay. Um. So... This is interesting. Um, they say to leave half an inch all the way around here, which makes sense. So this is about this much, and that makes sense because we're gonna put another circle, we're gonna put a circle of fabric on top, and we're gonna ladder stitch it all the way around so it looks nice and closed here. And there's gonna be two slits in the side here. The belt's gonna not come out on the end, but it's gonna come out of the side right here. So, um. The part that's weird is that this is not even. This this circle is not even and flat across. It's kind of wavy. And I noticed that. I noticed that when we were making the pattern, but I wondered if it was going to make sense to me later. But it doesn't. Um, kind of really strange, to be honest. See, this is the top of the tail. See how it curves? Well, what do you think happens if you put it in a circle? It makes half of it go down and then some of it go up. Basically, having this piece not flat makes it makes it do this. It makes it wavy. So while this piece is flush, like flat, the sides, the sides are sticking up. So I thought that was weird. Um I thought that was kind of weird. Maybe there's a reason for that that I don't understand. <laughs> Cause I'm stupid. <laughs> Thank you. I that's so fun. You're one of my favorite people. One of my favorite uh, watchers or hangouters. One of my. We need a, we need a cool name, just cool name, for us. Just a hang our hangout group. Our our circle of friends here. Okay. <laughs> You're just built different. <laughs> You know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay, so I have amended this. Number one, I would have this flat right here. This number one piece. Mm-hmm. That's it. So from this corner that starts right in the middle of that bend, right to this corner right here, just draw a straight line. That will fix the problem. It will. Um... I don't know, unless there's some other, some other thing that I didn't notice, but in my opinion, this needs to be flat. <laughs> so, um, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, I took out the foam core. I'm going to pull this flat and I'm going to look at the lowest part being these two edges. And I'm going to trim down the middle until it's even because it has to be flat. If it's not flat, it's not going to fit this. I'm choking on fur right now. Mm. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> All right. Um, where's my scissors? There you go. I'm not even joking. I'm dying on fur right now. Oh. <laughs> there is no worse feeling. Spit out a furball. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I am very close. Okay. Mm. This is the face of true suffering right here. Ugh. 
I've had fur in my mouth many times, but right now it's like I should just it's it's too far gone, man. There's no hope. I should just drink some water and accept it. <laughs> I I eat eating fur. You ever see my uh my uh on Discord? I have a Okay, you know how on Discord you can have like a tiny little tag or like a little note saying something stupid or funny? Mine says eating fur because that's what I'm always doing. <laughs> I am eating fur. I forgot I even did that until I just now remembered. <laughs> Spit out a fur ball, problem fixed. There we go. This, this new camera angle is so intimate. It's just really close and scary. I don't like it. It's too close. Okay. This is much closer. Um, see, this side is still a little too high, so I'm going to have to trim it a little more. I'm actually shocked that the person didn't notice this, actually. I mean, maybe this is just something that they don't... I mean, maybe they didn't test their own pattern. Maybe they just made it and they're like, yeah! Or maybe they do it different than me and I'm doing it wrong. But as a professional, professional autonomy professional, fursuit maker, this is what I was able to come up with and... This is what I think they were trying to tell me to do. The oh, the uh I'm I'm talking about the curve of this this top piece. See how it's like curved here? I drew a line. That's where it needs to be. It needs to be flat. If it's not flat, you're screwed. Okay, so um Mmm. Cool. Here's where we're at. I think this is straight now. Let's stuff this back in. Foam core. That's so familiar. I think I had some kind of martial arts weapon that was a foam core. I don't recall. Cool. Okay. So I stuffed this in. And that looks much, much, much better. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but, I mean, this part's not even perfect, but, uh, it's a lot better. I think it will be okay. But, um, yeah, that's kind of bizarre. I wish I would have known about that earlier. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut the slits for this. So I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit, just, uh, enough Enough where I can see where the hole is on either side. And I'm going to try to straighten it out. I'm going to line it up evenly with this tail here. With the, uh, both sides. There we go. Okay. So what I got to do is I got to make the slit in the side of this fur. And I got to make it the right height. Oh, the status. Oh. <laughs> I think it's status. Um... Probably status. That's funny. I had no idea what you were talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. This is good. This is fine. Everything is acceptable. You know what? Also, on this pattern, I would have put on this page a slit exactly where you should cut for this. I think that would have been helpful. I didn't mean to do an intense, full-on critique. I did not mean for that to be this, but... Um... It's not a bad pattern. I just think... I think with a little fine-tuning, it could be a great pattern. Okay. Um... Moment of truth, man. If I mess this up, it's gonna be a lot of extra work, so... <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. I'm more than the height. I'm more concerned about it being perfectly rotated left to right because if I have it wrong, the belt will sit wrong and the whole tail will fall to either left or right, whichever side I have it on the most. So that will be a problem. Uh, so I just need to be really careful. Okay. I have it sitting up here. Let's try this. 
surgery moment. I gotta stand up for this. Okay. So this is going to go in about this much. Now it's gonna be a little bit lower, so I'm going to cut right here. I don't like to cut from this side, like the fuzzy side. Cool. So alternatively, I could have been smart and I could have just used a pen and marked it. Um, cool. Actually, if I hold it like this, this might be easier. This is like me trying to do hand paws for the first time or something. Cool. So I find the center, center of this. That was direct center. Awesome. Good job, me. Cool. All right. That is pretty close, actually. I think that's really good. I have to get the slit. Wow, not even in the camera. I have to get the slit right in the middle here. And that's, that's the part that's stressing me out a little bit. Okay. There we go. Cool. So here's the slit. Um... Now what I want to do is make sure it's exactly even on the other side. So the hard part it was getting it right in the first place. So let us try to make it even. So first I got to check the height here. I'm going to make sure it's the right height. Why did I say this was easier to do the second side? Usually it's easier to do the second side. <laughs> You're just watching me try to understand, right? <laughs> me suffering. The struggle, though, I really am just trying to understand. It's very not easy. Okay, so let's try this. Pinch, pinch both sides together. What is this camera doing? Come on now. All right, I pinch both sides together, and then I can just cut it directly through this secondary hole here. Brutal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's... That's the, that got me the right height. Now I gotta make sure I cut evenly both left to right on this. And I gotta cut more on this side. Cool. Did it do? Yes. Is it long enough? Yes. Good. Good, good, good. I like it. Cool. That was hard. So now let's stuff this in here. Um. Put the holes section to line up with the whole section. Normally, I would say we should probably put a liner in, in the inside of this, but I'm following the pattern, and also, I don't want to deal with the liner right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I am trying to follow the pattern anyway, so it's fine. Whatever, if I make this kind of tail again, I'm positive I would put a liner in there. Cool. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to line this up here. All right. So in theory, I should be able to stick my finger in the side here, get it all the way through where the belt is. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Cool. So my opinion on this this process that I just did, um, what I would do if I did it again, I would say, first, let's brush this fur down, make it nice and easy to understand what we're working with. I would hold this little puck here, hold it flat, level with this, figure out exactly where this hole is, and then actually go a tiny bit lower. Because, um, this, you're just going to have to trust me on this. <laughs> just go a tiny bit lower. So I would grab this piece like this then, flip it on the inside, and snip a little hole right there. Then, from the inside, you can see here's the edges of both. So now you have, now that you did that little snip right in the middle, you have the right height. So now you need to do the right width. So using this, you can try to, um, you can try to, like using these two edges, try to get it 
exactly the same length on both sides. So like, don't accidentally put it too far over here, over here. So, um, yes, so this is right in the middle. And do not snip this too large. I think that could be a really big problem. It can make the fur run. Like if faux fur is known for being able to be ripped, if it has a slice in it, it's it can be ripped easily. So that's the only concern I have about this. I might put some glue. If I did this again, I might put some glue around this hole to stabilize it because of that. But other than that, it's a really light tail. I don't think it's gonna have problems. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Yeti, that's cute. The camera is being kind of uh it's 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 being it's being a friend today. I <laughs> or a fiend. Yeah, my camera's being a fiend, actually. <laughs> um I'm still choking on fur though. Um Good, I do need some more stuffing. I could tell it needs a little bit more stuffing. Then we'll put the foam core back in. Uh, where did I, oh yeah, I yeeted it. I yeeted it across the room, okay. So not too much, but I could tell it needed a little bit more stuffing on the top here. Yeah, this camera, like it's zoomed in because otherwise, like when it's supposed, to, this is my downward facing camera. It's supposed to face my desk. If it wasn't zoomed in, you would get way too huge of a view. So, since it's the only camera that's working right now, it happens to be zoomed in, and it's very close to my face. It's just weird. I just, I feel very uncomfortable. Like, when I look at the stream, it's just like... Anyways. <laughs> How are you all doing? We're almost done here. Hopefully you guys are just having a good time. Okay, I'm gonna put the foam core in. Again, line up the line up the hole here with the holes in the side that we just cut. I'm gonna see if there's enough stuffing in there if I need some more. Come on now. It. Cool. All right. I think this is pretty good. Pretty good. It's not perfect, um, but I have plenty of ideas, plenty of ideas why, how I think it could make it better, and I've kind of just stated it across the entirety of the stream, um, but let's, let's finish this tale, and then I'll probably go off on my final thoughts. Um, I'm wondering, no, I was wondering if it was, worth it to hot glue this core into the inside of the fur, but I actually think that's kind of pointless. Um, Cause once we put another layer, it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's stuck between stuffing and the other layer, it's... No, actually, I take it back. I take it back, we do need to glue this. You know why? Once we put the backing on this, we like our, just our little circle backing, that's it. Um. There is a possibility that with enough thrashing, the foam, like um, the stuffing, can try to push out this way, and this foam core will start coming out, then this, this flat edge will start puffing out, and there will be no easy way to fix that. Um, <laughs> basically, it's like if you made a whole pillow and you stuffed it, but you never sewed that last side closed, you know you're gonna lose stuffing out of that last side, so, um, yes, I guess my, my intuition was correct, I do need to glue this, because there's a possibility it can come out, and I don't, I don't want that, <laughs> just hammer it, boom, problem solved, violence is always the answer, <laughs> but you didn't hear it from me, <laughs> okay, so now I just gotta, when I'm gluing this, I gotta be careful not to get it in that slit area right here, because that could defeat the whole purpose of having that slit for the belt there. So, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love how my Nilla wafers are just down there. Yo, I had some sun chips the other day. 
I was so happy, but then I ate them all. I almost ate them all in one day. I had to be very careful to stop myself because sun chips are good. <laughs> I'm weak. You know, I, I'm not, I mean, Lay's, regular Lay's chips are pretty good, but I'm not really, like, weak to any other kind of chip other than sun chips. I don't know what it is, man. Chips don't usually get me, but those, those do. I'm done. Oh, no. Done ate all of them. <laughs> I done did that. <laughs> All right, so I realized I was behind the cam. It wasn't. I was kind of out of camera again. When things get intense, I usually pull stuff closer to me, which in turn pulls it away from the camera, and you guys can't see it. So sorry. Okay. This is good. This is good enough. I don't need glue all the way around, really. I just, I just need it to be secure enough. So where if somebody does a real thrashing to this or something, uh, the stuffing won't push the whole thing out of this weak point, this open area. So this should be fine. Um, and honestly, even though I would have personally made some kind of lining to put in here, I think this is fine because it it is hidden mostly by the by the long fur. For, for the most part, I don't think you would really see it, so. I guess lining isn't completely necessary. Like I thought it would be. I think it would be a luxury. I think it would be nice. I think it would be a nice touch, and I think I would add it for professionalism's sake, but I don't think it's completely necessary. Wow. I really want more sun chips now. Ah! Um, okay, well, sorry, sorry, I was thinking, sorry, I was quiet for a minute there, cool, so we got this, I think this is great, um, I can fit my finger in all the way, well, if my finger was that long, it can feel both fingers all the way through where the belt buckle is supposed to be, right through the center here, right here, so, um, now we just gotta put the top on and we'll be done, okay, see you in a minute, Lulu. So I'm gonna go to my fur bin. Well, fur bin, should I get my fur bin? Eh, no, okay, I gotta go to my, okay. Why don't you guys just watch me suffer as I dig through my, my, through my crates over here. This, this will probably be the most entertaining is just to watch me. So, see here's all the, here's over, over there's all the furs I got out earlier. Um. And over here, this is the foam roll that hit me on the head earlier. And, uh, what I need is out of this crate. Ah! See what I'm telling you? I'm really short. And these crates are really heavy, but I'm kind of, <laughs> kind of strong. I try to say that I'm strong enough, but then I almost drop it on my face. <laughs> Okay, so this is my box of minky. I know you can't see me, but that's fine. This is my minky box. I'm gonna see if I have any glue. Any glue that matches? Yes! This, this is, mm-hmm, this is perfect. This is perfect, turquoise blue. I actually got this to match um, Big B, but this is the closest I'm gonna get here, so. Okay, so that's actually really close, but can I stand it? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I like to get it as close as I can. I don't have the exact shade, so I was trying to decide if it was worth it to match the other color, which in this case happens to be white on the tip, and the other option is just to choose the blue that's closest. <laughs> I'm sad because I don't have the closest, I don't have a closer blue. Let me look one more time. Yeah, hey, how you doing, doot? Yeah, I'm still alive. I decided I was going to finish this today, which was, in hindsight, probably not a good idea, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... 
Yeah, that's the closest I'm gonna get, and I I prefer to have it the same color as the base in case it, um, it accidentally gets seen somehow. Okay, cool. So, uh, there's a little square cut out when I took a swatch. So here's my little circle. I'm gonna just generalize and get this get this piece cut out, and then I'll cut it more perfectly in a moment. There we go. Minky just gets fur everywhere, but everything does. Everything gets fur everywhere. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm just gonna put this back in the bin if it doesn't explode. <laughs> if I don't drop things on my head again, I think that would be helpful. Yeah, this is a really, really long stream for me. <laughs> cool. So here's our circle. Um, so since we're using this circle to fill this, um, we do need to leave a little bit bigger. Like, this is the circle that fit in the inside. So we're going to actually need it to be a little bit bigger than this circle so that it has seam allowance to sew into the edges. So... Uh, I'm gonna trace it, but I'm gonna make sure I leave enough space. Yeah, dude, I'm actually surprised that you're back. I'm, supp I'm surprised that you checked on me. Hi, that was nice of you. It's, I, I mean, I know you went to do something, but it's funny. It, it is funny that I'm still alive. I, I'm actually shocked myself. Cool. Um, I need to trace that a little darker. I can't see it. It's just glue stuck to my nail. <laughs> I am glue. Cool. Cool, cool. So we got the circle. In theory, it should cover this. We should be able to sew it together. So I followed that entire um, instructions to the best of my ability. Um, I paid attention to the seam allowance, which is already on the pattern right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what you were doing. Yeah, you were walking the dogs. That's so good. That's probably really good for you, too. I wish I had an excuse to go outside, but all my work is inside. <laughs> Sometimes I just go shopping to get out. That's so sad. Okay, let's see if this fits. Oh, it was humid. Yikes. I hate humidity. It's really uncomfortable. Ugh. It feels like the grocery, like the, uh, like the produce section of a grocery store. That's what I think of when I feel humidity, just because, <laughs> uh, I mean, I used to work at one of those places. It's just cold humidity. That's, I mean, hot humidity is different, I guess. Okay, so this looks like it's going to fit great. So, um, once this is sewn, we'll stuff the belt through and we'll try it, but... I mean, in theory, we probably should have tried it first, but I do want to sew this on first. Okay, hand sewing needle. Closest thread I can find. Um... Okay. I guess I should probably... See, whenever I make something, I always put a tag on it. It's kind of like, you know how you you get a really expensive piece of clothing or something, and it's really cool to like look at the tag and be like, yeah, this is this brand. It's awesome. Um, I kind of like to do that, too. I mean, I'll never be obnoxious with my tagging, but I think it makes it feel like a richer experience when you have like a really cool tag on there. So if I ever send out a pair of uh, hand paws, sometimes I'll put... A tag right in the lining but only if it's not only if it doesn't bother you like and uh yeah and I, I will usually put it at the base of the tail right where I'm doing it now so I'm gonna sew it on using the sewing machine because I can make it look a lot nicer and also be a lot quicker and I just I think it adds a, a level of professionally prof professionality and also, it's like an artist signing their work. So, 
So, yes, that is why I like to use tags. Sorry. Song tags on is kind of really strange. Like it's uh depending on what kind of tag you're dealing with. This is like a flat tag and trying to sew it onto this minky is really hard because it tries to slip. Anytime you try to sew minky, even if you're trying to sew minky to minky, it's just it slips. It's just such a pain. <laughs> just don't sew with minky. But, yeah, so it, it, it's, it's, it's not easy, but I've kind of learned how to work with the beast, so. All right, give me just a moment. Cool. So, I sewed both sides here. Uh, both sides. It's kind of hard to see, but. The lighting is bad. Um, so I could stop there, but I think it's kind of stupid to stop there when I could sew this middle section. Because this will get ripped out. I think that's really bad to just leave it like that. I've had some clothes and some bags and other other <laughs> material, sewn, sewn material items from stores where they didn't, they sewed like the edges but not the middle. And it, the tag always gets ripped off and it looks bad and... I just do not, I don't like it. I don't like doing that. So I'm gonna sew them all. All four sides. Give me just a second, I'm sorry. Cool. So I'm actually gonna just, like you know how the, when you, when you sew with the sewing machine, you always end up with strings right where you started and right where you end. If I can, I will try to cut off the strings ahead of time because it kind of keeps it from getting in your way and getting tangled in. There we go. Okay. Last side, I swear. Wait, actually, two more sides. I lied. Okay. Actually, that's fine. That looks good. Cool. Uh, let me cut off these strings and I'll show you what we've got. Boop. Cool. Here we are. So, it's just really basic. Just sewn all the way around. All four sides. And that'll hold it in place. That's what we need. I have done it with uh, hand stitching, like a decorative stitch, and it looks fine, but I mean, if they if they both look fine and they both hold it on there, I should choose the one that's uh, gonna save me time, right? So, machine, machine is amazing. Cool, so, also I had to make sure I was, make sure which direction the fur was going, because the min minky is really short fur. I had to make sure that the short fur was facing the right way. And I wanted it to face down, towards towards the bottom of the tail. He, what is this camera? What is the camera doing? Okay, I wanted it to face down, so the fur is going down this way. And I wanted the label to face the same direction. So that's, that's was my process of thinking, with why everything is facing one direction. Okay, so now, this, this seam right here, you can see the top center seam. That's the middle, and this right here is the middle of this. So we're going to start by sewing those two pieces together. The two middle pieces. Where did I put the thread? Oh no, I lost it. Uh, great. Yet another sewing needle I've lost. Why am I like this? Oh my gosh, wait, there it is. Ah! Okay, I know I would have found that later. Or you know what, more likely, more likely, one of Carly's cats, uh, my sister, <laughs> name drop, sorry, um, one of my sister's cats would have come in and found it. I'm sure they would have found it. <laughs> Used to be really bad at losing stuff. 
You know, I didn't know you could improve from that, so... Kudos to you! <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's... That's something that's not good. You really need stuff, and when you lose it, that's a struggle. Okay, here we go. So... Can't do this the way I would like. Normally, <laughs> normally, I leave a small, small hole on some other part of the tail, like right here where there's not much going on. And then I do this sewing from the inside, because this part's way harder. Then from the outside, I blanket stitch, or uh, ladder stitch this shut, and perfect. But the way they wanted me to do this core, to be honest, I would still do it. I would still do it a hole in the side. I would set up the whole core thing, do it from the inside, have this part sewn. I think it would look nicer. Um, but that's just the way I work. So if anybody ever commissions me or whatever, wants me to make one of these tails, I know the better route to take. I think, I think the first time I can always expect to have some struggles with whatever I'm working on, but I'm really, at least I'm able to learn from what I'm trying to do. I think I'm learning at a rapid pace because, uh, when I, I mean, when I first started making fursuits, learning any little thing took a long time, but now it's just like, oh, okay, remember that for next time, and then I do. It's just, uh, interesting how it's so much easier to remember things and do things properly now, because I just, I don't know, I guess I've done it a lot, <laughs> but it's really helpful. Okay, so... This whole thing needs to be like sewn like a like a hidden stitch to sew them on the inside. So I figured I might as well start with this piece. I just flapped it. <laughs> I took this piece, I flapped it down, and I got this top part started. But that's the best I can do. Now I have to uh, put it back and do the rest as like a hidden stitch. So at least at least I got to cheat the very beginning of it. Cause uh, doing hidden stitches is just <laughs> that's why that's why I always leave like a spot on the side open and I do this part from the inside because I hate sewing this part it's awful I hate it so much because I hate hidden stitches so it's a lot easier to make nice hidden stitches down here underneath fur that's thick than it is to make right here especially in a big circle <laughs> oh I got this <laughs> thank you you know what? That's exactly what I needed right now. It was confidence boost because this is, this is not, I don't like working on this part. This is always scary and stressful. If you mess up, it'll look really bad. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm nodding. You can't see it because I'm out of camera, but I'm nodding. I'm very happy. Man, I'm starting to get real hungry. I've wanted a PB&J for hours, but this tail, I'm still working on it. Okay. Okay, tuck this in. Yeah, I would definitely do this from the inside. Yikes. Who does, like, okay. Cool. So just following this pattern as is. Um, I have a lot of changes I would make, but... You know, every fursuit maker works different. And maybe to them, maybe they're really good at hidden stitches. And this is the easier way. Maybe the foam part is the hard part for them. So they'd rather put the foam in this way and do the hidden stitch at the top. I guess it's really depending on who is making it, I guess. So for me personally, I would never have chosen uh, to stitch it at the top like this, but... That's okay. Somebody, I mean, clearly that's the way they prefer to do it. So, I mean, I, they might, they must not be the only one that would do it this way too. Okay. You fit in there, you stitch. <laughs> okay, see, there's parts of, there's parts of fursuit making that is like, big brain. Like, I need to sit down, turn off all music. I need to think. And I was just doing that the other day with uh, a surprise project I can't show yet, but I will soon. 
And um, I really had to think a lot. It was really okay, I guess. I, I, I mean, it, it turned out really well, so. But that's cool. But a lot of this, like, hand paws, tails, um, I mean, most of it, 99% of it, I swear, is just busy work for me now because it's I'm so used to it and it's so easy for me now that, uh, I mean, if I'm not watching a movie or listening to music or something, I will lose my mind. So I guess I'm streaming and losing my mind as I talk to you guys. <laughs> losing my mind in a different way. Okay, I gotta force myself to drink some water before I die. After, after, after I thread this. I need to finish threading this. My sister, she was watching me sew, and she was like, wow. How are you so fast? How are your stitches so precise? And I was like, they are? I didn't even notice it, but I think over time, I just, I guess just practice makes perfect. So if you feel like your stitches are just not up to what you want, if they're not even as much as you'd want, keep trying. Seriously, you will get better. And also, as the person making it, you probably feel like it's way worse than it is. It probably looks great. So don't be hard on yourself if you're making something like this and it's not turning out the way you saw it. And of course, if you have any, if you need any help with any kind of fursuit, anything, just DM me. Oh, <laughs> you're playing Brawl Stars while watching. You know, I, I thought you were going to say Smash Bros. Brawl, and I was like, who plays that anymore? I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the Smash Bros. I grew up with, but... Okay, this is embarrassing. I don't know what Brawl Stars is, though. I feel like I should know, but I don't... <laughs> Especially because I'm like... I try to be... I, I'm try, I like video games. I really am into the video game... Uh, crowd, but I'm more interested in how they're made rather than playing them themselves. If that's kind of weird, kind of weird. I think I think they're just a really cool form of art. I think there's a lot of cool things that have come out of video games. Cool stories, cool character concepts, and the way that they can immerse you into a world completely. Oh, you grew up with Smash Bros. Yes. Wow. You see, I, I never had an N64, but I did get a GameCube. So I, I missed the N64 phase. Raw Stars is a game by Supercell. Whew. You know, this feels, it feels like a trivia game where they keep giving you hints and I still don't understand and it's really embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so I probably should explain how I'm doing this stitch here. So I hope this is close enough to see. So first, make a knot, like a... <laughs> let me, let me, let me make a knot, okay. You need to make a knot when you first start because it can be pulled through easily. So if you try to pull tension on the thread after you made a few stitches, it can try to come out. So first start with making a knot just on one side, like this side, this side, doesn't matter. Make a knot. Um, then go inside and come back out again. And try to keep the fur far away, otherwise it'll get pulled in. Then go on the other side, go on the inside, come back out again. And the hardest part of this is trying to stay at the same distance between the edges every time you do that. Like this distance is really, this distance every time, all the way around, so like it makes it, that's the hardest part is the distance. Oh, Super Soulmate Clash of Clans. Okay, at least I know that one. <laughs> that would be embarrassing if I didn't know that one, right? <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of games that I haven't played, but I know about because... <laughs> I mean, I'm just interested. They're interesting. Games are cool. Games are a cool medium. Okay, so after you go over and come out a few times on each side, um, maybe like three or four times, don't don't go overkill because if you go, if you do too many, you're not going to be able to straighten it. Rather, the thread will just break, and that will be bad. Okay, so you can pull it tight like that, and um, you can tie a knot in it. So every three or four stitches, I like to tie a knot because what happens is usually when I'm doing these reverse stitch, whatever you want to call it, hidden stitch, it breaks. The thread breaks all the time. I suck. <laughs> um, but to combat that, I know that the thread is going to break. So every few stitches, every three or four, I pull it tight and then I tie a knot just in case. That way, if the thread breaks, it doesn't unravel the entirety of everything you've just done. Because that would be really sad. Okay, so when I'm working on something like this, remember how I started at the top here? Okay, so I, I did a little bit on the top, I did a little bit on the bottom, and then instead of continuing to work my way around this way, I'm actually going to start again in the center of each side. Like, one on each side, like four to because that will that will make sure that it doesn't get kind of pulled all in one direction so it's really thick here and then there's like not enough over here that's just the best way to make sure it stays so um make sure it stays even so i'm actually going to do this side now cuz i haven't yet so here we go um i'm going to find the center and i'm going to stick my needle straight up through the bottom pull it and I'm actually going to just go around one more time and stick my needle through that loop because that's that's going to knot it. There we go. Because if we didn't do that just now, if we just pulled it through once and we pulled it hard, it could have just come straight out. So having this knot here is super necessary. And that's actually going to be our first stitch. It's already coming through here. So now we got to line it up. Make sure it's the right spot on this fur. Uh, right here looks good. So I'm going to go down about fourth, a fourth inch-ish, and I'm going to come out. Cool. So now I'm going to go back to the other side, move over a little bit for the next stitch. And I'm going to try to keep this fur out of the way, the best I can at least. There we go. And I'll do this one more stitch, and then I'm going to... Okay, so we've got a few stitches here. I'm going to use the needle to stuff this on the inside. See how this stitch is hidden? It's on the inside. I know it's kind of hard to see. My camera's not good. Ugh, I mean, it's good, but it's not in a good spot. It's kind of far away. My camera's misbehaving. So this is a hidden stitch. You can't see it. It's on the inside. So if we close this like this, it'll look... It'll just be pinched. It'll look silly. You have to take your needle and kind of stuff these edges inside. And it can be kind of hard, but once you get it started, it makes it a lot easier to go all the way around. And I really hate hidden stitches, I do. This part is just not easy. For this alone, I would say that this is a medium, uh, medium, like a medium level tail. Somebody who's not brand new to tails, but I think, Depending on the quality of your stitch, I think that's kind of part of it, like... I mean, you can make this tail at any skill level, but if you want, you want to do it really, really well, I think to do it and get the maximum quality, I think you'd need to be at, like, a medium skill level. I don't know where that threshold is, but... Okay, so I pulled it tight. I stuffed it in the best I could, but it was, it's just coming out, so I'm going to do a few more stitches. We're going to try again. So... Uh, two more stitches here. Okay. So I'm going to push these down and try to push them in. Basically, you don't want to see the end of the fabric. The end of the fabric is supposed to be on the inside. There. And once you got it kind of okay, you can pull the thread tight, and it'll bring it the rest of the way. 
There we go. So the best way to watch this is probably zoomed in, and I'm really sorry. I would zoom in, but my camera is actually being stupid right now. If, if you've been through this stream with me, you will know. And one really important thing about when you're doing, um, like, an invisible stitch like this, if your stitch is, if you, if you put it in and it's too close to this edge here, it's not going to go, it's not going to go, okay, here's your two, here's your two sides. They're going out like this. You, what you're trying to do is bend them in and sew it so it's flat like this. But it's not going to be able to go in all the way if your stitch is too close to the edge. So make sure you're really going down that entire one fourth inch when you're when you're doing your stitches here like that's really important for doing the uh invisible stitch otherwise it will be visible <laughs> it can't it can't go inside out if there's not enough uh edging to do so there we go okay so now that i've got a few more i was able to pull it tight and look at that it worked great um camera focus on the thing not on my hand uh cool so I like how that's looking right now, so I'm going to do a knot. So to do a knot, I'm going to put it underneath. I'm going to do it like one more stitch, pretend I'm doing another stitch. But instead of just pulling it straight, I'm going to stick my needle in there. And then I'll pull it through. And that'll knot it for me. There we go. And I actually like to double knot stuff because I don't trust single knots because they actually don't knot. They, they, like, they slide like it's... Hard to explain, but they don't, they actually don't knot it, like, they don't hold it in place like you think it would, so always double knot, like, always, seriously. One knot doesn't do it. It's like the equivalent of tying your shoelace, you know? Like, if you don't double knot your shoelace, it's gonna come out very easily, so, yeah. That's actually a really good comparison. I'm kind of proud of that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going underneath. Um, you gotta kind of just guess how far apart to make each stitch all the way around, but I'm also, I'm gonna say also, uh, maybe one fourth inch or a little bit less. Like, yeah, that would be good. Because you don't want to, you don't want to have too few stitches, but if you have too many stitches, it makes it really hard also. Like, invisible stitch, man. I'm gonna complain about it all day, apparently. Sorry, I'm gonna shut up now. Ugh. I just, I just have a lot of tips on the invisible stitch to try to make it suck less. Okay. So, if I was to redo this pattern, I would first make the directions more clear and or have photos, probably both. Well, the directions weren't bad, but if you had photos, it would fix the main issue I had. <laughs> Oops, you only single knot your shoes. No! You monster! <laughs> How could you? <laughs> if you were sewing with your shoelaces, they would never stay. <laughs> okay, so since I did some sewing... On each one of these four, um, one, two, three, four sides, it's going to hold it in place. So now it's okay if I start, like, on the edge here and make my way to this next knot. It's, like, held in place enough. Like, I don't have to start in the center of this corner and this corner and this corner. It's just, that's excessive. This is fine. It's, like, held in place enough where it's not going to shift too far where it wouldn't be able to be fixed. So this is good. So starting again with a new thread, first thing you do, go through it again just to, to knot it. And then you can start doing your stitches. Um, oh yeah, I would put pictures on the directions. Um, now maybe they didn't put pictures on the directions because they expected people to print it out. But um, I, think, I think you should anyways because most people look at things as a PDF and... If they print it out, well, that's, they just decided, they decided to use their own ink for that. And I appreciate looking out for people because ink is expensive, but, um, if people don't want to print that page because it would be expensive, you can, you can leave it up to them to not print it. I mean, I think you should definitely just have photos on there. 
it would be really a lot more helpful than none. <laughs> I mean, okay, then the one. The one the one photo was very helpful, but it would be helpful to have more. Um this pattern, this part needs to be flat for sure, 100%, unless I mean, unless you're doing something else that I don't understand. This <laughs> from what I understand, this part needs to be flat because if it's curved, it makes the top of this wavy and I'm not able to put a flat thing here. Um, three, make these lines much thinner. It will be a lot easier to, um, for people to see and understand and trace the pattern. And also, if you don't want people to waste ink, you know, that's kind of a waste of ink right there. And also, these arrows should be like my arrows. It, they can be small or big, it doesn't matter, but they need to be thin. Because when they're kind of uh, big like this, it's kind of, if you, I mean, it gets the point across. Like, this general direction is where the fur should be, but I really prefer to have much more, uh, uh, like, a much more straightforward, like, this is the exact perfectionist angle that this fur should be facing. I, I just, I just like to make it as, uh, oh god, what was the word? I was saying it earlier. Precise, yes! I just like to make things as precise as possible. So, um, yeah, having the lines and the arrows be thinner, that would help a lot. Um, and finally, I would come up with an alternate version of this pattern. Not the pattern, but how to, the directions. And make it so there's a slit in, like, the back or the side where you can sew this whole part from the inside and stick everything up in there. Because this is not doing it for me, and, uh, I know this can be done the way I normally do it from the inside, so. Um, yeah. Those are my thoughts on this pattern. It's not bad. It's not a bad pattern. It's a really cute design. So if you like this design... Uh, don't let me deter you from getting it. I think it's really cute. Um, it looks like it's going to be nice and bouncy. But uh, just be aware of those few things I mentioned. Like, if you get this pattern, um, you know, like, you got to flatten this piece. And you might have to learn how to do a good hidden stitch. But I think, overall, this is a really cute pattern. I think it's... Uh, I think the owner, like the maker of the pattern, did pretty good. But that is that is my critique. I hope, well, I, I don't hope they see this, actually. I would feel really stressed out if I found out that they saw this. I'd feel really bad. But uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to hate on them. They did a really good job. And the directions were really good, but I do need some pictures because I'm a visual learner. So, uh, yeah. I, it's like I want them I want them to know the problems so that they can do better next time. But at the same time, I don't want anybody to hear me complaining about something <laughs> of theirs, you know. I mean, I, I complain about stuff all day long, but I mean... <laughs> it's like when it's... A little face cam. This is getting kind of boring watching me, so... I, I complain about stuff all day long, but if people found out I was complaining about their thing, I don't want them to feel bad. But it was, it's just, it's a true critique. I'm just trying to do a critique. An artistic critique. Hey, Lulu. How you doing? You're back. You're here basically like this whole stream. Like, that's crazy. This is a really long stream. I'm probably going to pass out and sleep forever. After I eat. I really want a PB&J. I'm not going to let that go until I eat one. Well, what's probably going to happen is I'm going to take a break. And I'm going to eat a PB&J and play some Overwatch. And then I'm going to... Sleep. <laughs> I'm going to forget about the RP. That's exactly what's going to happen. I need to not forget about the RP, actually. And there was one other thing, too. Something else I needed to do after the stream, and I can't recall. 
Shoot, what was it? No, this is bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sometimes moms are difficult. <laughs> it sounds to me like your mom just wants to hang out with you. <laughs> Which is cute. But maybe you should choose the movie next time. <laughs> All right, I'm not into this, uh, this back, this hidden stitching, man. It's gonna kill me. I swear it's gonna be the end of me. I want to never do a hidden stitch for the rest of my life. I can't say that would make me happy, though, because I've already been so a salty I'm, i've already like suffered the world like i am suffered i my gosh i need a break <laughs> i'm suffering from hidden stitches and even if i never had to do another hidden stitch again i will continue to suffer from the memory of hidden stitches because i hate them this much <laughs> i just really do not like these Yeah! Truth! I feel the truth. That's awkward, yeah. I don't think... I don't think Mother understands. Me! <laughs> okay, this is... Okay-ish. <laughs> Great. We're getting there, friends. We're getting there. And this camera is way too close, and I feel very claustrophobic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cringe acting. Was it like a Hallmark movie? I hate those Hallmark movies. They're so cringe. I mean, I know that word is just thrown around, but no, that's actually cringe. I physically cringe when I see a Hallmark movie. Like... If it's on TV or somebody's watching it, I'm just like, <laughs> it's just not the kind of movie I can stand. Kind of, yeah. Well, I think you would know. It, I mean, those Hallmark movies always say Hallmark right at the bottom. Oh, I forgot. Okay, you're not in the States. Hallmark might not even be a thing there. Sorry, sorry. I forgot that was even a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, I've just got, I've got more stitches to do. I just, I just want to be done now. I don't like this. I don't like, I don't like hidden stitches. Whenever I see this tail, I'm going to think of the pain of the hidden stitches. There's a reason I developed a different way to do this tail, uh, my tails, without hidden stitches as much, as much hidden stitches. Oh, I had no idea. You know, I th you think I would know that, that it's Pride Month. Um, <laughs> cool. Happy Pride Month, I guess. <laughs> I'm happy for everybody who else is happy. I'm happy for the happy people. And that's all I can say about that. Because I don't really know what else to add there, so. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> see, I'm so... I feel like I'm just, I don't understand. I, I feel like I just don't understand anything of anyone. I don't want to insult anybody. I just, I don't get it, man. So I just don't want to, I don't want to say anything about anything related to that. It scares me. Because I know so little, like, I feel like I would easily insult somebody. And I don't want to do that. That's like the last thing I want to do ever. Oh, man, guys, we're so close. Look at this. We're just at this very tip right here. Huh? We are so close. That's what I keep telling myself, even when I'm not close. Because it's what gets me through the day. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, dang. Well, your teacher sounds like pretty cool, though. I mean, that's that's chill. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, but but they listen, so that's that's nice. I don't know. I I never really got to know any of my teachers, so Except in college, but that's totally, uh, even then I didn't really get to know any of my teachers. Just some, some of, I didn't get to know all of them. Just a very select few. And that's because I was stuck in the animation department, uh, department. And there was only a few teachers to go around. So you're gonna get to know them. Oh, yeah. What is with art teachers being the favorite? Like the, art teachers are always the best. They're the coolest people. I love art teachers. I've never had a bad art teacher. They were always just awesome. What does that uh, first teacher of yours teach? Uh, I'm so close. Please, I'm so close. Just let me do this. <laughs> Clover needs a break. Clover needs a vacation, a full vacation. Take my plane ticket, fly somewhere crazy. Like, uh, <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> I'll fly to Alabama. Do they even have anything in Alabama? I don't even know. I'm sure something is cool there. I'm sure, I'm sure they've got something. Every state has something, right? Oh, I see. Oh, that's cute. Oh, wait, science, biology, and chemistry. Wow. Yeah, I guess you only have a few teachers to teach all the subjects also. Wow. Yeah, biology. I feel like they would understand that pretty well. I mean, biology, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so close. I'm right at the end here. I really need to stop complaining, but I can't. I just hate it. I just hate it so much. Okay. Okay, we're really close. I'm tying it off. I'll show you guys what we're at. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, just give me a second, all right, this is where we're at, we've got this, I kind of did like a hidden stitch, but because, <laughs> because it's like flat on the inside, there's nowhere for the seam to go, and it just kind of pops up, so it's kind of got this ridge, it looks just, it would have just looked so much better to do it the other way. Anyways, um, you can go over it a second time, um, and it usually looks a lot better, so I probably will do that, but off stream, because that'll take, like, forever, but I do want this to, uh, look a little bit nicer. Basically, if you want to clean it up and look at, make it look better, you actually, instead of going all the way around, you slowly weave between the edges all the way around, slowly weaving. And that'll actually really bring the edges together tight. So that'll, that'll fix it. But this, as it is, it looks fine. I just am OCD and I want it to be better. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. Um, let us try... Let us... Wow. Wait, really? Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. I'm gonna cry at how stupid I am. It's okay, it's okay. I made a mistake, but I'm not fixing it. Um, I sewed the clover cat upside down. Basically, I mean, the minky is going the same way, so the minky is flowing up this way, but I usually prefer it to flow 
down. Like, this is the way the tail is going. And then look at the clover cat. It's like... <sighs> okay, the tail goes like this. And I usually like the font to start at the top and go down. And the reason I did this upside down is because usually my tails are like this. And their tail is like this. That's why I got confused and that's what messed it up. Dang it! Okay, so be aware when you're doing this, hold it correctly and make sure your minky is flowing the correct direction. That one was my bad. That one was, that was totally my fault. Nothing to do with the pattern. That was just me being stupid. Okay, so we're going to brush this out. Um, I'm going to grab a belt and we're going to try it out. I'm going to drink some water first. I'm sounding like a man again. Oh, it's all three in one class. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. That's awkward. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Brushing this, I forgot, is kind of a nightmare. I think I'm going to brush two sides. I just brush, I'll brush this side, and then I'll brush the other side, and we'll see how that works. I'm trying to... It's trying to... <laughs> it just doesn't want to do. Because <laughs> as I brush one side, I'm accidentally, like, tangling up the other side. It's, it's not something I'm good at here. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna have to brush it again, I'm sure. But for now, this is good enough. Cool. I'm gonna grab a. Oh man. Oh, it's buried underneath all my snacks. How am I gonna get in here? Stick my arm. No, it's not gonna work. Huh? I'm sure I got a belt in here. Hold on. <laughs> Come here, you cereals. Move. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm digging. Cool. So you see, I don't have to get in here that often. That's why it's not a problem usually. But not today. I needed to get in there. It was hard. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, whew, good, whoa, camera be like, belt, cool, so this is a tiny little belt, I mean, I prefer to wear my belts really small, like really tight, but uh, yeah, this is, I actually, okay, definitely accidentally just called myself skinny. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying, I, I, okay. It's just, it's just a cute little belt. It's just a little, I wasn't, I wasn't, <laughs> I will stop talking. Okay, so now I got to get this belt in here and hopefully it will never come out again. But for now, you got to get in there, belt, come on. Show me what you're made of. Don't be afeard. Okay, I'm glad I left that tiny little extra bit of space in there. I think it's just the perfect amount of thickness to get right through. Okay. Cool. Sweet. So we made it through. Wow. This tail took forever. I can't even believe how long this took. I don't know why I'm saying that, actually. I believe exactly. Tails take me about a day to make. This is a tail. It took me about a day's work to make. That's accurate. Tails, tails are kind of suffering. Okay. So, let me see. Is this upside down? <laughs> oh, that looks funny. Wow, that looks weird. 
Okay, tail. Let's try again. You know why I put it upside down? Because the Clover Cat logo is upside down. Huh, I'm so embarrassed by that. I don't know if I should hand this out to somebody. I don't want people thinking that I'm stupid. That I can't read. Okay. Okay, is that better? That's a little better. Let's go up a little. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little tighter. Cool. Um. Yeah. Well, there it is. Well, that's cute. Let me put my shirt over it. It's little. That's cute. Little, little tail. Little tail. I'm going to make it <laughs> shake that. <laughs> Thank you. Eh. I am not a dancer. But if I was, this is the first move I would learn. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so I do need some leniency on the belt. Um, I like to wear my belts really tight, but that's okay, because uh, this for this to work, I'm noticing it needs to be a little bit looser, but not too loose. You gotta get the right consistency. <laughs> consistency, like it's a soup or something. You need the right consistency. So, yeah, it bouncy. Yeah. But. <laughs> I, I did hmm, Great. Excellent. I did it. Now I gotta do the thing I do with all the tails. <laughs> it looks worse when I do that with a, uh, with a straight, like a straight down wolf tail. Looks much, well, this one looked pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, just, just don't do that. Don't be me. Anyways, yay, that worked pretty well. I'm actually surprised that that worked as well as it did. I shouldn't be surprised, and I think the tail, I mean, it works. I think, yeah, you know what, that's it, that's it, that's good. I think it works. Agreed, that's, that's my critique. Anyways, I really wanted to try out this pattern because it was a uh, suggestion from Micah. She really wanted me to try it out. And also, I wanted to get in uh, some practice on curly tails before I did the very ending piece of Spartan's tail. Just to make sure, because I really want to make sure, um, you know, I do good on my commissions. They're important. So uh, I figured I might as well try this, this other way, where you don't have the belt loop at the end, but it's like set in like an inch or so. So I, I wanted to try that, and um, that gives that gives me something to work with. I can decide which way I want to attach the tail at the end of Spartans. So I'm gonna think about it, cause his tail is a lot bigger. I'm gonna try to, I'll experiment. I'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So that's why I just dropped everything and did this today, cause not only not only was it a uh, suggestion, but it was a very helpful one. Very helpful. I think it's a really cool idea to have the belt coming out a little bit inset. Not only does it hide like a lot of the belt itself, but it's like you don't get that droopy look. And also it, it adds a little bit easier wag. If you have the perfect, perfect amount of tightness on your belt, it can get a really good wag. So that's cool. I like it a lot. I might make more like this. Um, so yeah, and I did I did already give my um, opinions on the pattern. I did, and um, overall, I mean, just uh, be aware of the few things I mentioned. And overall, I think it's a really it's a cute pattern. It's good. So thank you to uh, Hounds Tooth. I can't remember. Uh, toothy Hounds. Thank you for Toothy Hounds. For this pattern, it was very good. No! You should make one! You should make one. You could do it, you totally could. I can help you. So, um, we have this tail now. 
I'm going to put it on a giveaway. <laughs> so <laughs> that's 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 one of the things. I was going to do the role play server. I was going to put this tail on the giveaway. So those are the two things I was going to do. Hmm. Okay. So yes, if you want this tail, ah, um, check out the Discord server. And in a few days, we're going to it just you just sign up, and then everybody the bot chooses randomly one of those people, and they will be the winner. So, yay! Oh no! Yeah, that's a struggle. Huh. I don't know. I think... Yeah, okay. I'm going to... S I, I need to take some pictures of this so that I can set it up for the... Uh, um, giveaway. See, I'm getting tired. I'm just, I just... Too, mu too much mental focus in one time. That kind of tired. Not sleepy tired, but... Yes, I am waiting. Yes, so... Um... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to snap a few pictures of this, so... The giveaway isn't gonna be live immediately. I'm gonna need, like, a tiny bit of time to get this... Uh, on, on the, on the, on the Discord, because I need to take some pictures, and I need to contact Osiris to get the bot up and running, so, um, at most, um, it should, it, I mean, at latest, it should be up by tomorrow, and if not, then, that's weird, <laughs> it should be up by tomorrow at least, but I'm hoping by tonight, so, yeah. Yes, actually, um, I actually have a, just another thing that's on my to-do list. I have a mostly finished list of all the important supplies you need to make fursuits. And, uh, it's almost done. But of course I'm not done with it yet. But maybe I could just publish it and show you. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm almost done with that. I will finish that so I can <laughs> send it to you. <laughs> Because that, that would be awesome if I could help you out with that. But I don't know where you would get faux fur, where you're at. Um, I don't know if there's uh, places near you that sells faux fur, if you have to... Stores? Okay. So, may, yeah, maybe you have, like, craft stores or fabric stores that are, like, local that you can find some faux fur. I'm sorry, I still got fur in my mouth. This is really cute, but whenever I make one of these curly tails, I just want to choke myself with it. Like, it's like one of those plain things. Like, those, those little plain pillows. You live in the center of the city, you have everything here. That's good. I actually love city living. I mean, to a point. <laughs> I love having access to everything. That's good. You should be able to get all the supplies you need then. The faux fur was the one I was most worried about, but if you if you could get that, then you should be fine. All right. Oh boy, I'm getting tired. Yeah, I'm ready for my pe peanut butter and jelly and Overwatch. So, um, anything else you would like to say before I close out for the day? Oh yes, I will do that. I will do that. Um, probably while I'm making my sandwich. <laughs> and then I'll get peanut butter on my phone or jelly. Happens every time. I, I mean, I dropped a tomato on myself the other day. It was an experience. <laughs> Which reminds me, I'm doing laundry. My laundry's been sitting in the washing machine for hours. Alright, wish me luck. I have to stitch together all several of these videos, so, um... They can fit on YouTube, so yay! Yeah, good luck, thank you! Yeah, alright, well I'm excited to see what you've made, and uh... Thanks for whoever is willing to stick with me long enough for this one really long stream, so... I mean, Lulu, you were here for a long time, so thank you. Um... For keeping me entertained, and thank you for everybody else who even just tuned in for a moment. 
It was very nice of you guys. I really appreciate it. Yee, thank you. You guys, you guys, I mean, I would not have been able to do this on my own. Um. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I'm glad, I'm glad you like them because I like doing them <laughs> and I like hanging out with you guys. Oh, that's fine. That's totally fine. I know, I see, I know that you're here. I do. And it's, that's, that's what I really need. I just need like friendship. <laughs> You don't have to talk a lot, and that's fine. I appreciate you being here at all, really. That's really nice of you. Thank you. I We had a really long time of suffering. Most The most of the suffering was at the end with this part, but um, we did it. We did it. So I'm going to go take a break and wear my airplane pillow. <laughs> um... Oh, you guys are so sweet. I can't. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I I love that you guys are just so sweet to me. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs> bye. The best kind of bye. <laughs> the one with lots of ease. I love ease. <laughs> okay. <laughs>